Edge again. This time it's over. Look at Edie. His ninth dunk of the season to lead Division I basketball. Feeding Edie. His first bucket. Plus the foul. I'd like to see Jay Ivey utilize his size and athleticism, not settle for a three. Well, there's Edie making his defensive presence felt. I think if you're Purdue, you got to play inside out, whether it's Travion Williams or Zach Edie on the floor. That's been your DNA here. They love throwing it over the top. Edie with another back cut. You. Doing a little gift from distance, that's for sure. Mario, it's off the hands, and Stefanovic picks it up. He got a two on one. <laughs> Stefanovic, he had the first bucket of the game, the three pointer. Inside, great post touch, easy flush for number 15. Henry has been. A focal point of Purdue's defense. Well, stopping Sasha has been something Michigan State wanted, and there he got it on the rim. Ivy inside has to get rid of it to Newman. Edie, good position and a big flush in front of EJ Liddell. It's kind of been one on one, and that's what's gotten Northwestern in trouble. The quick shots and then the transition. All right, Purdue, this time, not necessarily transition. Brandon Johnson on the weak side of the floor, just getting it done on the offensive glass. Wow, Edie just absolutely walled off Robbins and rode him to the rim. Seemed to be blocked out, and there's that cross screen. Liam Robbins kind of falling down. Stefanovic had one three-pointer, and it was late, which took a five-point lead and made it two. But it was inexplicable. Whoa. Edie scores with a foul. That was a tough shot. Stepping into three-point shots, guys setting good ball screens. Just a completely different look for the Huskers. Nice pass out of the double by Edie to find a cutting Mason Gillis. 20 more points scored in the paint by the Boilermakers. Mm. Oh. Edie on the alley Stefanovic doing it all. Edie an easy one. You know, about a month ago, Dave, that Duke team was going for as bad a season as Duke's had under Mike Krzyzewski, you know, and, and came on a little bit in that four-game stretch as Edie puts one through there. Um, I don't remember what the crowd said. I remember that we, we were down big, and we ended up having to foul, and Coach Painter was yelling to foul. I had four fouls. I totally forgot. What a play. <laughs> Unbelievable by Zach Eady. This, this league has a cornucopia of coaching talent. They just threw that up. The big fella went and got it, and he found a way to put it in. That's the other thing that's impressive. Newman with the fancy dribbling near the wing. Stefanovic fakes it, pass into Eady, and knocks it down. And there comes the impact from the seven-footer. Eady inside. Good yes. look to first. Great pass. Great cut by Caleb first. Cut to the basket when the ball goes in the paint. I think that's one of the things that makes this team so dangerous. See, they can score in transition. They can pound it inside. They shoot the three over 40%. And look at the drop right there to Eady. It wasn't executed well. There he is. Oh, yeah. And the throw yeah. They do that a lot, John. Here's a better view. Watch. Baycott is expecting a screen across, and he gets caught trying to get through it, and they just lob it up at the rim. Edie oh, yeah. wide open, a two-handed stop. Great job by Edie. He knows how to use his body. Juan Ying tut with the three-ball miss for Omaha. Going back inside. Edie. We're going to back down the defense. Again, there's that size advantage. That last play, Edie did a nice job. As we look more of a big number 15's work inside. Yeah, it's pretty valuable, and it matches up with the way today's game is played. Edie inside. Get close, couldn't hit. Gets the miss. Cuts it home, plus one. They'll go to the line. Pretty good hands for a big guy, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Now, this kid is agile. He's big. Watch him with the second. It's not a second jump. It's just a second reach. But great hands by a young man. Slow start to the campaign for him. Zach Eady over the top. He caught it. He finished. He's fouled. The big man going to work. He goes to work. Down the lane against Eady. And Eady rejects.
rejects it with ease. Down 11 to Villanova, came back and won that game. How do they respond here in Brooklyn? Over the top, Edie, that's a good response. They love to run that play. And almost was MVP on a losing team. He's tremendous, there he is, right on cue, taking the lob from Ethan Martin. Shot fake, Gillis, Hunter, thought about it, he will take it. There's Edie again, six offensive rebounds for Purdue, another bucket and a foul for Edie. See him open, doesn't cry about it. When you, do, when you don't get the ball as a big fella, you just go get it off the glass. Hunter trying to get things going a little bit on the offensive side. Just 1.7 points per game over the last three. Edie inside, count it, and the foul. This spin move, he just gets right by it. This is a terrific play by Zach Edie. You see the defender, that's Ty Gordon. They do bounce it in there late in the shot clock. Edie going to work. Great spin move, and he got it. Start doing that. Threes can start falling, but this is a big time move. Crowd doesn't want to foul. Edie understanding that going right to the basket. He's trying to drop it off. Boy, I thought he maybe could have just laid that in. Back to Edie. Two more. Rebounded by Frazier. I thought Numa should have hit Edie back in the post and let it. Post up again. Oh, a rejection by Edie. It knocked out of bounds. Fashion as well. These Alana fans are not liking the calls, but that's a great block. And that's Big Ten basketball. Bosman's for Dunk is uh, just happy for him. It's what he's been able to bring to the table for IU. Good entry. Edie patient on the knees. And one. And the foul on Jackson Davis. You can be starting the break for the other team, Northwestern capitalizing. You go back to the buoy three at the end of the first oh, half. It's a 15 to 5 run right now. But all of a sudden, Thompson is in rhythm. Purdue has been in the top 10 all season. They actually had a little spell at the number one spot. Beautiful setup. Edie with a chance at three. Edie draws three defenders, nice fake, Hunter reloads, tries again, and down it goes for Eric Hunter, Jr. Make that one of eight. Dickinson, great overplay, but that's what happens when you take that risk. Uh, almost out of nowhere, had a really good game, had two assists at Indiana. Edie, one hand to two. That's why you just cannot gamble there. Too many breakdowns of responsibility are going to give Michigan confidence. Here's Edie. Oh, oh. Count it. And one. <laughs> Brandon Johns is a big kid. Hey, so you think, all right, just body up. We'll bring help in the middle. There's not much you can do. You go to the floor. No doubt about that. What a lob and what a start. Stefanovic up top for Zach Edie. Westers just all out of sorts here on the offensive end. He with the block. Ball comes out to Ivy, and then it went off of Bowie. It will be Purdue ball. Yeah, the Glacier, the Space Eater. There he is on the other end with a two-hand flush. Over 2,000 wins combined as they get together at the Carrier Dome in Onondaga County today. There's the lob, and it's Edie on the flush to mangle the rim. Boy, the back screen again. Gillis quickly into the post. Edie going to work off the spin. No. Second chance. Oh, he put it up and in. And a foul. And you can see how much space he has to operate. Now the ball comes right back to him, but gives Zach Edie a lot of credit. Rob Finnessy, much like the first game, impacting this one here today. Edie sizing up Durr, who arm bars him. Edie got him deep and missed again. The second one is there! Second most in Purdue history. Boy, this is not a game if you're soft to play in. I mean, Edie going up with the left hand, gets his offensive rebound. Because they got Nick Ritchie, who's been there for years as the trainer. If possible, they'll be back. It's Ivy is firing. Look at this. Edie. And it goes. Not to elevate too much. Well, I'd like to see him at the net. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I don't think you would. I don't think you would. Pop it underneath. Edie comes it down. The assist by Ivy. Newman with eight first half points on three for five shooting and a takeaway. Smith 
with the steal. Gillis in the open floor is going to have to regather to Smith. The lob to Edie. A little bit of early alley oop. There's the alley. There's the oop. Purdue has missed their last four of five field goals and 0 for 7 from three. Good pass. Edie wide open underneath and the two handed flush. And when you jump shot at the ball, and that's when you got to execute. Very patient to find a good shot. Good cut. Doesn't Hard matter. Cut. Edie wipes it Woo. away. That almost hit. Almost with that little dribble drive. Well, that's just great. Smith and Fletcher Lawyer. The two oh, freshman oh, starters. Oh, Over the top. Morton finds Edie. And Bob Huggins is not going to be happy with the pressure on the ball there. Guy who tore his ACL and MCL, missed all of last year. Edie a touch. Edie a finish. That's much better action. They ran cutters. Moves Zach Edie up top. And then he sets a couple of screens for two different cutters. Offensively, they score as easily as any team in the country. Good pass. And Waddell slams it home. Edie the assist. Edie left the low. Oh, come on. Gets it into Lawyer. Right down to Zach Edie with a monster dunk. Purdue up 4 0 early. For Hofstra. And that's the one thing that we've learned here with these. Five to shoot for Purdue. Oh. It into Edie in the alley oh, that's great recognition. Beautiful lead pass there. Easy deuce for the big fella. There's the extra pass out of the double team. Back to Waddell. Off the heel, but Edie on the glass. Yes, and a foul. He's moving. He's playing in the crowd, but that's a terrific effort to get on the offensive boards and Zach Edie making his own offense happen. Lawyer with the dump down, Edie with the seal, oh! Get you some, big fella. All right, Slam, what, what are you putting on this out of 10? I get out of 12. 12 out 12? of 10. Okay. Nah, I'm going to give it a 9. I'll give it a 9, because that is a guard that he's stuck on. That's not Cliff Amore down at that rim. And Cliff Amore had one of those here in Mackey, if Purdue fans can remember. So I know Zach Edie is waiting to play Rutgers. Big bucket. Up top, Edie collects and throws it down. And the foul to the top. There's the lob. Amori trying to beat him over. And there's the contact on the arm. Zach Eady going right through it. 41-38. Here's Eady. Double T. Jump hook. Right hand goes down. Lundy driving inside. Eady says, I don't think so. The other way, Brayton Smith. Brooks Wells, one of the officials, trying to get a call, but there's none to be had on that possession. Under a minute to go. Edie. Makes it look easy. That is seven points for Edie. Ten seconds to go. Lawyer, the freshman, into the post. Edie gets to the rim and scores. Two seconds to go. Purdue by one. Just a great look by Lawyer. You gotta hug him. Great opening to the passing lane. And Lawyer is a great post passer, too. Of course, the target's formidable. The pass to the correct hand drops down. The unheralded freshman in Westfield High School, Mr. Basketball of the state of Indiana. Throws it up for Andy. That is the fullest of extensions. Got the rebound, and as he's dribbling up the court, he is surveying. He had his eyes up. He knew exactly where he was going to go. Why? He got the floor space. You had shooters around the perimeter and open rim. One thing to watch out for, Brandon. Maryland has struggled defensively. Last in the Big Ten at two-point field goal position. <laughs> and there you go. What a start for Purdue and Zach Eady. But you'll see this quite a bit. Purdue will do a lot of different things to enter the ball. And you lose one guy and suddenly open look. Down the lane, Eady redirects it. Nice tip to himself, Lawyer. Hauser, if you've just joined us, 0 of 2 shooting, still looking for his first points. 
Walker slices in. My goodness. Gill and Siam let this thing fly immediately. Everybody in this building wants one thing. Well, I guess that'll work. That will do. Trent Jackson says, Davis, try this one, Mr. Edie. Up and up, man. These two guys can bless you. Great hands. Through traffic and one for Edie. As you were pointing out, as we were watching shoot around today, one of the few teams that actually still run motion. U.S. no shoot for you as the shot clock has expired. Purdue a different look. Edie with the jam and he's fouled. The stare, Zach Edie. Jameer Young. Met by Morton, the bounce yes, pass down low, Edie with the block on Reese, and Morton a loose ball. See how far out in the court Edie is now, that's a good opportunity to drive it. Yes. <laughs> a race by Edie! Inside, Edie, nice dunk down, and up and in for first. 80 seconds left in what's been a grinded out first half in Madison. Here's Edie. And you saw the hustle by Carter Gilmore to try to get back on the double team that time. On that drop coverage, shooting those little 15 footers. He was just phenomenal. There's the high low, and Edie spins it in and the foul. Amori now on the bench for the Scarlet Knights. So they'll attack the Wolf Oak inside. Wolfolk with the foul. Go foul, but you know what? Go ahead and hang, Zach. You're getting beat. You're getting... Exclusively on CBS. I'm sure Kenny appreciates a nice little dump down first for him. That's why he's a great offensive rebounder, too, because the great awareness finding him in the interior. But he also can pass. He has a versatility. He's been double deep position like he did early in his game. And they're circling him, too, with more than one on occasion. Occasionally three. There's three. He got another one that time. Certainly, Miles Cole, but no shortage of people he can lean on. Hicks the miss, and Chor Chor had it swatted away. Second block. And the Chor Chor can't believe <laughs> this thing got a race. He... And Edie's had to come back in, and it's a slightly worrying sign that that happens without him. Edie puts it up and draws the foul. He'll shoot free throws. Specifically, getting guys from Conference USA. Sule Boom from UTEP last year was huge for that Sweet 16 team. And he likened Quincy Oliveri as a very similar product to Sule Boom. And that time, Zach Eady too deep. There is Zach Eady right here. This is a play out of bounds. And Zach, the double team really doesn't come. And the challenge with the double team is a smaller player. You know, just learned about her and 36 points in this game, 43 points in that. I mean, she became must see TV. She's the Mia Ham of, yeah. of basketball. What a block. Edie got a piece of it. Good physical battle. Kaufman ran over James. Edie with a weak side rebound. Well, back up. And one. But inside position, two guys behind him. There's nothing they could do. Gillis steps in. Edie's got the offensive rebound and the high percentage follow. Smith with eight assists to go along with 19 points, seven rebounds. Edie sends him back. Oh, great Smith is looking to run every time down. And here's another shot. Are we about to see a second straight Northwestern upset? In, Edie, catch, wow. finish. Tied at 76. Inbound buoy, the heave, no, and overtime. Yes. Mason Gillis twice in a row just putting the ball right where it needs to be. Edie goes up and gets it and goes right through the chest of Blake Preston. Outstanding work by Gillis. Just lock in 20 wins over the last five years. He has gotten it done. Developed players and one at a high level. Lawyer, the offensive rebound with the three. And, and making sure that he's not camping in that lane. I'll tell you what, even the on-ball defense with his lob. There's a lob, and there is Big Maple. Here comes the cross screen, and it, it's... Smith looking inside, finds Edie, working against Ballo. Just goes right to a spot, counting and a foul. Zach Edie finding his rhythm. 
They're not going to give it to him. <laughs> not going to give it to him. Got one pick chance. and pop. Come on, pick and pop. Good pass. That's what he does best. Rolling right to the basket. Braden Smith with the missile. Right to the hands of Zach Eady. One of the best in the country. Walker. Oh, my. Volleyball spike by Zach Eady. Trying to get it to Eady. There it is. Watch out. Kevin Willard said he's going to get a couple of dunks, maybe more. He's going to get his points, and we can't be phased by that. He is so good at finding open areas. And he's now in double figures with 11. He's a fifth-year senior. Speaking of cutting, Gillis on the weak side. Skip the basketball and make another guy prove it. Now Edie calling for the rock. Big fella throws it down. What an inbounds play right there. A little On the team. But who's got to get this into Zach Eaton? Favor Ira has fallen down all over the place. And Edie takes advantage, throws down the dunk for his first two. And then Favor Ira, he trips over his own man, then trips once again trying to get up. It's certainly a wide open. Renew not just better scoring the ball, he's been much better finding his teammates this year as well. Smith up and under. No. Oh, Edie, the follow. He rips down the rim. Just no block out there. You get caught ball watching on the Braden Smith drive, and Zach Eady is hanging on rims. Johnson can't win. Purdue just keeping that stiff arm on him right here. Yeah, Zach Eady making his way toward the double double. 10.7 rebounds. He's going up, taking that offensive board. Fletcher Lord doing a pretty nice job there, just staying in that play and getting a quality contest. Smith over the top to Zach Eady. Boy, it's such a tough action because Mason Gillis has shot the ball so well. No player of the year, Zach Eady. Nine early points, four of seven from the field. You see that on social media with the song, Let the Bodies Hit the Floor yeah. in the background. And now, Lawyer can't even hit the oh, That's one way to put an end to the spell. Zach Eady, his first bucket. How this game is officiated means a lot to the home team. Eady. Oh, yes, and a foul. He stayed with it. His strength was the key there. Smith, Nicholson chasing him out. That leaves Edie alone against Barnhouse. This is such a tough guard here for Northwestern. You see, North, the Cats want to be up with the screen. You've got Kaufman Wren posting Barnheiser, but that whole backside of the floor. Badgers are now 3 of 11 from downtown. Look at this alley here. Oh, it's Edie upstairs. Tyrannosaurus. He can try it all, but he they're going to need the three to go down, but they're going to need Elijah Hawkins to find some level of efficiency. Three of his last 16 now from the field. Meanwhile, it's been all Zach Eady so far for Purdue. On coverage, the prior possession, he did get Dawson Garcia coming over. But here, it's one-on-one -on -one with him and Pharrell Payne, and it's the offensive. You say that, everybody around the country knows who you're talking about. Thornton has all the points so we go. And Eady with the catch and the finish. To him. To go around the double. Now here is where he fills the middle. You can just not, you can't vacate the middle of the floor. That is not a good spot to pick your dribble up there. But he was fortunate. Here comes Smith again. Uh-oh, Eady. And the Wolverines back into the zone. That's a matchup, not a switch. Smith, Kaufman ran, got by McDaniel, and Edie there to flush. Michigan, maybe Trey Jackson. But Trey Jackson had to go and help out, and he left Edie, and Edie just does a great job. He follows the bat. That, that, that's weird to their own. It looks like <laughs> that whole sideline looks like we're a couple weeks short. Mm. Edie, throwing a foul, turning a big corner. Will be key. Matt Painter really preached to his team, keeping Illinois out, and then you can just dump it down and let Edie go to work. Boy, Big time flush. Oh, he's got so much in the arsenal. Yes. Edie, race for impact. Tell a foul. You know, making free throws is toughness. That's a sign of toughness. And in a game like this, with you don't have a lot of margin for error, you got to take advantage of it. Nice. Fine. Hold it with the hand. Edy gets his first touch. They surround him. Four guys on him. <laughs> they want to stay at home, I think. You can't give up these open looks. Offensive rebound. Edy tosses it in. And the foul. That goes up. You get a body on him, but his size, his length, 
and great strength and concentration 